started at Solnook Air Base. I moved about 170 miles uh, and did a, a raid essentially on a target building uh, in the ruined city here in one of the Hungarian training areas. Uh, well, I think it's an incredibly important one to demonstrate our interoperability and then also to conduct AERs and get lessons learned. I mean, 90% of our tactics we found were the same, but you know that 10% gap is where the, the learning kind of happened for us. I think another big part of it too is just understanding communication the same language um, with a heavy emphasis on reversals and especially the base plan. We really didn't come up with enough um, signals, whether they be smoke, signal flares, or anything else where we could communicate without uh, within the language barrier. Yeah, that one So today we provided overwatch for the Hungarians and combat company while they went through and they cleared these buildings and cleared that objective. To relay information to the higher up if there's people and like enemy personnel in these buildings before like they went in the clear. It was a good experience getting to train with other cultures and other like militaries and see how they operate and how they do things. And try to compare what we do and what they do and try to take what's good and bad between both of them and then show each other. I mean, really at the end of the day it's about like creating that mental flexibility and that mental agility and the more variety they see, when, especially for the young guys uh, in terms of tactics and procedures, it keeps their minds open to uh, learning new things and trying new things to get their SOPs right as they grow up in the Army.